It was Prince Harry's birthday yesterday, but as ever, someone else managed to sneak in on that wonderful celebration. Hi, good morning, Neil Shaw here in the heart of London. Hope you're keeping well. Thank you as ever for joining me. Much appreciated, always enjoy your company. And as I often say, you know, let me know what you're up to today. What do you get up to? Well, I'm busy revealing all these wonderful exclusives every day for us all, hopefully, to enjoy here on the channel. Welcome also to all the brand new subscribers. I'm looking out for you, you know, you better get involved. And as ever though, it's back to your breaking royal story of the day. Now, as I said, it would be interesting to note, wouldn't it? It's somebody's birthday yesterday, 37-year-old Prince Harry. Of course, it's not the prince he was born, it's the man that is about to become, all thanks to that book. But moving forward, on his birthday was that bombshell, that interview on Time magazine, or in Time magazine, should I say. Now, I don't know about you, but instantly, I was sort of flashed back to things like, you know, Scarecrow and Mrs. King, do you remember that TV series? Sapphire and Steel with David McCallum and Joanna Lumley. They did kind of look like two sci-fi detectives that were posing for TV Guide. Did anybody else notice also just how thick in the Photoshop they've made Harry's hair? I mean, I'd be thrilled if they did that for me, but it does look kind of slightly unnatural. Now, a lot of people are saying, why did they choose to reveal this particular interview on this particular date? Well, it's quite simple and as ever here on the show, we're telling you first an exclusive. What the real deal is this, print magazine, digital and all that sort of stuff are really on a rapid decline. People aren't buying magazines the way they did. Now, can you tell me when was the last time you picked up Time magazine? Mm hmm precisely. So by putting on two people that they know will instantly get some publicity around the world for them, people are reminded of two things. Time magazine's still going and also we can look at these wonderful Photoshop pictures. But on a more serious note, the story basically was all about how they are influencers. They are apparently one of the hundred influencers who have done so much for the voice of the voiceless. What piffle, I mean, what voiceless, you know? What I quite like about Harry and Meghan is though, alongside their trusted biographer, they managed to make sort of um, nano speak out of Star Trek appear absolutely intelligent when actually it means nothing. Now there was one person on there that I think truly deserves an influence award and that is of course the wonderful country star Dolly Parton. A splendid career, wonderful songwriter, musician and does a lot of course for children's reading on a more serious note. But what I did find odd and this really will backfire on Harry and Meghan. Normally when you get these wonderful profile things, they're normally written by someone of some great calibre. Perhaps maybe even Michelle Obama could have put pen to paper. Even David Furnish as he takes time off from producing, of course, Pearl. But no, it was somebody called Jose Andre, and he apparently is a chef. Nothing wrong with that, it's a noble profession. But once again, it does appear that Harry and Meghan are going to get a lot of backlash for this simply because it's a waffle of a feature. The pictures look really strange and as most people have now pointed out, you have Meghan standing front with Harry behind her, proving just really who is running Archwell, the relationship and of course the brand moving forward. On a final note though, Prince Harry, a very happy belated 37th birthday. And as President Trump openly said, you're going to need a lot of luck. Neil Sean in the heart of London.